All right, everyone. So in this video, we're going to um, graph y equals negative a half x minus 2. And then we're going to name the slope and the y-intercept from looking at the graph, right? So the, the way to get started on this is to go make a little table and plug in some x values. Always plug in 0 because it's easy, and that is the... When x is 0, that's going to be your y-intercept, right? <clears throat> so let's do that first. So negative a half times 0 minus 2 gives us negative a half times 0, 0 minus 2. I have nothing. I spent $2. Now I'm in debt by $2. Right? Um, and so let's go ahead and graph that point. X is 0, Y is negative 2. X is 0, Y is negative 2 down there. Okay with that? Yes. All right. Um, so the next part is... 2 and 4. You could do 2 and 4, yeah, exactly. So the next part is thinking like the, the denominator is 2. So if you cleverly plug in multiples of 2 here, then it'll make it work out nicely. Multiple two, 2 might be like 6, 2, or say 4, or negative 2, or negative 4, or negative 8, any of those. As long as it's a multiple of 2, it's going to work out nicely, and you don't have to deal with fractions. You can plug in 1 and negative 1 if you want. It's just it makes it a little bit harder to graph. So, yeah, 2 and 4 would be good. Um, so negative a half times 2 minus 2, negative a half times 4 minus 2. So I'd like you all to press pause on the video and calculate these and then play the video and check your answer. Awesome. All right. I hope you all tried it. Negative a half times 2. Remember 2 is 2 over 1. So this is actually negative and 1 times 2 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2, negative 2 over 2 minus 2, which is negative 1 minus 2, which is negative 3. Give that. Um, and this one is 4 over 1. So you have negative a half times 4 over 1, which is negative. And 1 times 4 is 4. 2 times 1 is 2. 4 over 2 minus 2, right? Negative 4 over 2 makes negative 2, and negative 2 minus 2. I'm in debt by $2. I spend $2. Now I'm in debt by 4, right? Or you could change this, subtract the plus negative. It says negative 2 plus negative 2. Two bad guys and two more bad guys, four bad guys, right? Yes. So our points are 2, negative 3. X is 2. Y is negative 3. And then we have 4, negative 4, right? X is 4, Y is negative 4. And you guys might have got other points with plugging in different multiples of 2. Um, but, you know, all your points should be along this line like that. All right. Now, when you draw your line... Um, this is what it should look like. Um, so we need to name the slope and the y-intercept by looking at the graph, all right? So let's start with the y-intercept. Everybody, where does the line hit the y-axis? Negative 2. Right. So the line is hitting the y-axis right here at negative 2. So that is our y-intercept, our b, right? I remember that. Above this, I want you all to write this down. Y equals mx plus b. And you can see that your y-intercept b is negative 2, right? Um, and then I want everyone to write this down. Rise over run equals, right? So to get from one point to the other, we can go across and then we go down. So we go across and then we go down, across, down. How far are we going across? How far are we going down? I want everyone to just write down what is the rise over the run. Just take your time and write this down. So you're going across how much and down how much, right? So 
So um, we're going across two, and then we're going down one. Across two, down one. Across two, down one. Across two, down one. So every time we get from one point to the other, going from left to right, we're running two and rising negative one. So we're not rising, we're falling. So, so a rise of negative one is like falling one, right? And that is a negative one half. And that is our slope M, our slope M. M is negative a half, see that? 